Donald and Melania just hosted private dinner for two guests at White House, you won't believe who it was. While the whole nation watched the whining by MSNBC anchors Joe Scarborough and Mika Brzezinski over President Donald Trump not following the pattern of every other Republican president of playing dead when attacked by the left-wing media. Our president was hard at work doing wonderful things for our nation and the world. Although the meeting was not publicized at all and no one knows how they even got into the White House. On June 28, President Trump met with two girls who were abducted in 2014 by the terrorist group Boko Haram but miraculously managed to escape. Joy Bishara and Lydia Pogu are the meaning of true survivors. When the president's spokesman was asked why these girls were here he replied that the girls had some issues they wanted to discuss privately with the president. But he went on to also say that neither the president's staff nor the girls themselves would be sharing the details about what was said during the 10-minute meeting. Although the girls appear to be doing fine, Pogu says she still struggles to sleep at times because of bad dreams. Both girls plan to start college at Southeastern University in Lakeland, Florida. This fall on full scholarships. NPR reports. After more than three years in captivity, 82 of the Chibok schoolgirls have been reunited with their families amid tears, laughter, music and dancing. On an emotional day in the Nigerian capital city, Abuja, the young women and their parents wept as they embraced. Some groups sank to their knees, giving praise and praying. Today I thank God, my daughter is alive. Yahi Bulata told NPR's Afe Abiquist Arkthan as he hugged his now 21-year-old daughter, Comfort Balas Bulata. He said he hoped she would now be able to continue her education. Mothers sang a song of thanks. Jumping for joy, dancing and singing with delight, Gadaya Joshua described it as Christmas Day and New Year rolled in one, before being reunited with her eldest child, Esther. The 276 Chibok schoolgirls were abducted in the dead of night from their dorms by Boko Haram militants in April 2014, prompting international outrage in the Bring Back Our Girls campaign, backed by former First Lady Michelle Obama. The girls who were reunited with their families Saturday they were part of a recent exchange brokered by the Nigerian government with the help of the government of Switzerland, the Red Cross and other NGOs. Three young women who've escaped are also included in the group. One girl escaped last May and two more escaped or were found last year. An initial group of 21 was released in October and was reunited with their schoolmates Saturday. The young women sang and danced separately and together. Despite the celebratory atmosphere, 113 of the Chibok girls are still being held by the terrorist group. According to Nigerian psychologist Fatima Akilu, head of the Neem Foundation helping survivors of Boko Haram's extremist violence, the girls symbolize a much greater problem in troubled northeastern Nigeria. She specializes in the radicalization and reintegration and says her NGO is helping hundreds of people, girls, boys, men and women, who've survived captivity, like the Chibok girls, but are not in the public eye. A lot of people are not aware of the scale of the problem, Akilu told Quist Arkton. Resources should be scaled up to include the voiceless victims that don't really have this big megaphone that has highlighted their plight. According to Human Rights Watch, hundreds of other children are still missing in northeast Nigeria, though the Chibok girls have gotten the most attention. attention.